Hey Gypsies, this is Joy and today I'm doing a pick a card reading and it is what needs your attention right now. So you're going to have three pouches to choose from. The first is the Elder Flower Fairy. The next is the Beech Tree Fairy. And the next pouch is the Narcissus Fairy. So go ahead and choose which pouch speaks to you. You'll also notice that in, in the comments area, I will put a link for you to click on to get a close-up of, of these pouches. And by the way, thank you very much. I am very close to uh, closing the gap with 300 subscribers so I can give away a card pouch. You know, I do make these. I will so. leave a link in the description area or the comments area where, where, that you can click on and put your name and that you're interested in uh, possibly winning the pouch, okay? So uh, let's begin. Hi, Group One. This is Joy. We're doing the reading. Let's see. What needs your attention right now? So this is a pick a card reading, and you are Group One. You chose the Elder Flower Fairy. And it looks like she's looking for what needs her attention right now, too. <laughs> so we're going to first check out what's in our pouch check all the things out in here okay first of all I'm going to spray the jasmine where is that the jasmine scent mm, I love that I'm in the Midwest and it doesn't grow very well here so I'm, I do miss that um, uh, in some cultures jasmine is used as a natural sedative much like lavender, and, and you can smell that nice fragrance at night. Its sweet scent is known to help alleviate stress and anxiety, helping the body to unwind. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, in the pouch was also, I believe this is white halite. It is a white halite, and it represents spiritual qualities of stillness, tenderness, and open-mindedness. That's nice. Okay. Actually, I'm um, I'm feeling like with this group, this is a this is a lesson for you guys. Um, it, it feels like you might be sort of freaking out right now, and that's why we got this uh, jasmine alleviate stress. And it sounds like this white halite can help keep you calm and centered. If you needed to buy something like this, you could get it online or something, but you could get it as a piece of jewelry or you could get it as a, a piece like this and hold it in your hand and, and meditate with that. All right, so what I'm going to do first is a, a channel and uh, see what comes in, okay? Wow. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> In a way, it was sort of. Um, <laughs> so I kept seeing feet. Okay. And the first set of feet I saw definitely looked male. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but because I just saw the feet. But they were um, very hairy looking <laughs> and muscular and dirty and full of calluses. So. I'm thinking that this was like um, somebody that didn't wear shoes. So I, I'm feeling like a caveman kind of thing. Um, um, and then I saw a very white foot, um, a very beautiful, and I'm assuming it was a woman's foot, very slender, white. And um, I could see the muscles in the foot. Was, I don't have a foot fetish, but it was a beautiful foot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so I saw these two sets of feet. So it felt almost like uh, it was showing me different lifetimes that you've lived. And um, feet, 
um, in this case I believe means you know progress forward and um, achieving your your spiritual goals uh, moving forward towards that so I feel like um, in your lifetimes that's what you've been um, that's what you've been preoccupied with and maybe sometimes you haven't achieved what you had meant to achieve in that lifetime but you're going forward you're moving forward so uh, it was, that was nice so what we're first going to do is looking at your emotional state right now okay what what is it right now that you're feeling okay and oh my gosh trapped in fear mm. Yeah, you're you're not moving forward. Um, you are so freaked out right now that it looks like you're not taking care of what needs your attention, and it's making it worse. It's making your situation worse because you're not dealing with it. You're feeling overwhelmed, and. Um, Okay, I'm, I'm feeling like if you can sit down and write your options down on a piece of paper and then logically think what is the best solution to this situation and then write down the steps to achieve that, okay? like make the phone call, talk to the person, whatever, whatever those steps are. And then don't listen to your mind, just start doing the steps one by one. Don't think anything else, don't think, oh my gosh, he's going to be mad at me. I can't call him on the phone, you know, don't think any of that. Keep your mind blank and just go through step by step by step. That's what I'm feeling like. Um I'm feeling, in this case, you're so fearful that you're doing nothing. And I don't want to make your stress worse, but it, but you've got to take care of this. Okay, we're going to, um, all right, this is the area that needs your attention. Okay, so this is upside down, which I guess doesn't surprise me. It, it feels like you should be going through some changes right now, but you're too afraid to go through them. You know, you know you should be taking these next steps, okay? You, you realize it, you know in your heart. It almost reminds me of, of um, how I grew up petrified of the dark. You, you might see some videos that I've done about that. And I mean petrified, okay? I lived in Florida. We had no air conditioning. Didn't matter. I put the sheet all over me. I was so afraid because I'd feel these touches all over me. Okay? And so it got to be uh, when I was an adult. Didn't matter that I was, you know, 50 odd years old. I was still petrified. I wouldn't go into a room that was dark. And boy, I. I finally, uh, I worked with a teacher, but finally the way to get this done was just not to think about it and just to move. And I feel like that's why I'm telling you this. You are so afraid that I'm being told that you just need to start moving forward. Don't think about it. Just jump. All right, so um, we're going to look at what's hidden right now, okay? nine of swords and this is upside down so it feels like for so long you've had these negative things uh, talking to you okay and you don't realize how negative they are because you have been dealing with this for your whole life okay so what's hidden are these these negative voices in your head okay and you've been paying attention to them and listening to them because they're louder these voices are, are louder 
than the angelic voices that love you and cherish you and want you to do well. So you just have to recognize that. Okay? You've got to recognize this. These, these loud voices are the ones that are telling you that you're worthless, that you can't do it, that you don't know what you're talking about, that nobody loves you, that kind of stuff, okay? Not true. Not true. Okay? So you listen for those other quieter voices, and they will build you up, and they will hold your hand through the next step, okay? Um, we're going to look at your resources right now. Oh, isn't that beautiful? This is a major card. And this indicates to me that you've got a, a bright spiritual star out there that's out there for you to follow, okay? And I've got a feeling that's why these voices are so loud trying to stop you from achieving your your goal. This is what I'm getting very strongly now. You've got gifts, okay? You've definitely got gifts and what's holding you back is is believing these these horrible voices in your head, okay? But you've got some spiritual goals that you need to accomplish that you're not doing. This is all about your spiritual change, okay? But it was upside down. You're not allowing it to happen because you are trapped by fear. You are trapped. And, and this is, um, understand that this is you that's trapping yourself, okay? Uh, not to place blame on you, okay? I'm, I'm not trying to say that. I'm just trying to make you understand that once you realize that you can control the voices in terms of just not paying attention to them, they will go into the background. They will go into the background. Pay attention to, to those angelic beings trying to talk to you because it, it feels like with all the stuff that's going on in this world right now, you've got something very spiritually important that you're supposed to do, and you're not doing it, okay? And I think deep in your heart, you know this. You know this, and every time you think about it, those voices are saying to you, oh, you're not important, who are you? Who are you to say that, that you can do this, this thing? Who's going to listen to you, okay? All right. It almost feels like uh, this negative forces or, or whatever are trying to stop you from doing this spiritual thing that you're supposed to do. And they're, they're, they're making you afraid and you're trapping yourself in fear, which means that you can take off the shackles and move forward. I'm saying this to make you feel empowered because you are empowered. This is all up to you. You're the one that can change it and you can change it. You can change how you're feeling. You you can you can move forward even though you're afraid. Okay? This feels like uh preparing for a battle or something. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Um you can do it. You can certainly do it. Um, I feel like um, you're an old soul. See how intricate this is carved? This feels like a very, um, it's almost like a mission you're supposed to be going on. And this infinity symbol, it almost feels like it's, it's saying you've been trying to accomplish this through several lifetimes and and there's there's something that's trying to stop you swim you feel like you're swimming upstream see that fish <laughs> let's look at these little fairy cards interesting you see this this little devil 
he looks crazy almost like a uh, silly like a silly devil okay he's not scary he's silly and he's got these chains around these people very loose chains and they're loose enough where they can just be removed just moved right over the top of your head and that's your case too you might be surprised that once you take the first step and um, start moving it's gonna feel weird but you can do it and you'll be surprised at how clear everything is okay and 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 you know what when you're not listening to these voices it's pretty darn clear in there what you're supposed to be doing you know okay you know <laughs> high priestess this is a major arcana talking about how psychic you are yeah this is a this is a spiritual uh, journey and they they really they're they're trying to get you to move forward and you know you're you're so used to wrapping yourself up in in fear that when you finally like unloosen your your leg or your arm it's going to feel really weird because you've got so much adrenaline going through your body but you can do it this is all this is is a habit of a lifetime of of stopping yourself and listening to these crazy voices okay that's all it is it's just a habit and you can break that habit you can do it you can do it well that's that's really wonderful um, I I wish you the very best and by the way I, I want to send you some Reiki uh, healing to, to help you break these binds of, of this silly little devil in your head okay because you can do it those chains are very loose so please sit back and make your mind blank and just relax and even though your eyes are closed it, it's everything's getting very very hazy and just feel like the chair or maybe even you're laying on the floor feel it hug you okay and the angels are all around you they want you to do very well because they know you can and you're very important okay all right thank you gypsies and if you like this this reading give me a thumbs up i appreciate it all right thanks so much Bye. hi gypsies you were group two you chose the beech tree fairy isn't he an adorable little boy and um let's go ahead and see what we've got in our pouch Oh, and by the way, we are answering the question, what needs your attention right now? Okay, it's a pick a card reading. Okay. A bit more in there. All right. So first of all, let's spray the patchouli. Hmm. All right. And patchouli is for grounding, balancing. It's a calming scent. It provides numerous health benefits, making it ideal for therapeutic use in cosmetics, aromatherapy, and cleaning products. <laughs> okay. So also in this pouch, you have this beautiful white translucent stone. Okay, before that is it's a white jade and it has a positive and brilliant power of light that's right within the stone it makes one feel calm and peaceful uh, ability to purify the energies of your heart and to increase or enhance love that's really beautiful it's a beautiful stone white jade okay now let's go ahead and I'm going to be doing a channel see what comes in whether it's um, you know something that I can smell or hear or something visual so let's get started and see what what comes in Oh, 
Well, that was interesting. I saw a tree that was cut and then I saw a piece of abalone stone. And abalone, um, it, it, um, it, it, it sort of looks like a tree bark in that there's um, lines throughout it, but it's a, it's a, a seashell kind of stone. It's a sea stone. But then what I saw um, were, was uh, it felt like two male figures, and one of the male figures was much bigger than the other one, and the big one was pushing the other one really hard on the heart, come to think of it right where the heart was, pushing him really hard. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so this feels like it's um, something to do with, uh, um, is this family or is it a friend kind of thing? I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now we're gonna look at how you're feeling right now, what your state is right now, okay? Memories of love. It's interesting that in this pouch was this white jade. And this is talking about love as well. This feels like a sad kind of thing, like uh, like a family memories of love and that person that you had that memories of love with is no longer with us. Maybe they've passed on. Could this be a mother or a father figure? Um, I'm feeling uh, sadness. Um, holding a torch for this person even though that's not necessarily a torch, but uh, holding holding this this light that they gave you, holding it and um, being so careful to not blow it out. I'm feeling some, some sadness. Let's look at what needs your attention right now, okay? Wow, okay, so this was really interesting that I saw the, the two figures fighting, well, at least the one fighting or bullying the other one, because look at that. Look at that. It feels like a bullying kind of situation, and I don't know if this is another sibling, I don't know if, I, I don't know what this is, friend or, or whatever, but they're, um, they're being a bully to you and it feels like this is a situation that you're not giving your attention to right now and that, that needs to be taken care of. And um, for some of you, it might be maybe um, something that you're witnessing where somebody is bullying maybe um, a, a child in your family or it could be a boss that's a bully at work but it feels like you are dealing with a bully and or not dealing with a bully. It needs your attention. It needs your attention. So if this is like a, a workplace bully, you might have one of those FU funds, <laughs> which I think is just hilarious. So that's apparently a, a fund, a monetary fund that you set up for just this kind of situation. If you feel like you need to get away quickly and you feel like if you stay longer, it's gonna really hurt you emotionally, an FU fund, this money fund, is going to allow you to maybe leave a job quickly, leave a relationship quickly, um, any of that. So that's, uh, I think that's a wonderful, um, a wonderful thing to, to think about, to have ready. If, if, uh, if and when you decide to make a move, whatever it is, okay? So um, we're gonna look at what's hidden right now. Three of Cups. Now I'm feeling like with this um, Three of Cups, you're so uh, freaked out by this, this bullying situation that you may be making more of it than needs to um, that needs to be thought of. So I'm not saying um, don't deal with it. You do indeed need to deal with it. But 
but by making it bigger than what it really is, it feels harder to deal with, okay? So if it's a, uh, for instance, if it's a bully at work, you just write down on a piece of paper, you know, pros and cons about the job, what, what is available to you that you can uh, use um, to maybe deal with the situation, and that might be talking to other employees, um, but it's it's like okay you either do this or you do this or you do this and that's it rather than it, it feels like you may be thinking about it again and again and again and it's making you crazy um, you know I, I feel like you had somebody in your life at one time that you felt had your back and they're no longer here and and that's what's that's what you're learning to deal with right now is is this person that had your back is is no longer here so you're having to deal with these things on your own and maybe that's what's feeling so overwhelming okay so the last card here we're gonna look at your resources this is a judgment card and this is upside down now as far as resources go I feel like you've got the potential this is upside down by the way and this is a major card um, I feel like throughout this reading we've been talking about love I mean um, this uh, the stone here we're talking about love this white jade and the memories of love and I feel like you had somebody in your life that you could um, rely on and count on oh and look at this even the lips these are lips by the way <laughs> but th this is uh, talking to me about um, love as well and um, oh and I, I'm feeling like with this one there there this person that's passed is looking over looking over you with love I I feel like you've got the opportunity to um, to think about this situation in a different way and to um, to find love again okay so you're um, you're feeling a lot of loss right now you're feeling like this is um, this bully kind of situation is something that you've got to now do by yourself but uh, you you've got the opportunity to to find love again and to feel like um, you yeah, see how you've got this uh, this ethereal being you know right beside you to help you out well you you can bring somebody in again and have an experience of, of love again so I, I feel like this this reading is about you know um, you know dealing with this bully uh, this bullying kind of situation but it's also talking about uh, love and loss and how you can um, bring love into your life again you know um, eternal oh eternal love there's an infinity symbol um, oh my gosh wow I didn't even see <laughs> um, I was talking about that that seashell that was that was cut or, or the the tree that was cut and you could see the um, the the, uh, the beautiful kind of seashell well this is what it look like the white part of this wow all right let's look at these little tiny fairy cards and see see what we've got here yeah and I'm, I'm seeing right now this five of cups you know you're just looking at what you consider the sad parts of your life okay and um, you're you're not moving forward um, and dealing with this um, bullying kind of situation because it, it's something that you're um, not familiar with because you always had somebody that had your back and now they don't and this is an unfamiliar territory so they're they're asking you to take care of this bullying situation or else it will get worse and make you feel worse but they're also um, also mentioning to to move forward you know to find a new love okay 
So um, that's that's a beautiful that's a beautiful reading. And, you know, and, and you can do it. Um, you're a wonderful person, and I I just feel like your heart was broken when this person left. All right. So so gypsies, just um, sit back in the chair, or or just relax on the floor or wherever you are. And I'm going to send you some Reiki uh, healing and love because you are such wonderful people. And you can deal with this bullying kind of situation. You can deal with that. And you know, even though you feel like you're, you're, you know, you're physically alone, you've got help on the other side. And so just feel that, feel that help, because it's there. They've got your back, okay? All right, gypsies, if you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up, I appreciate it. And you have a great day. Hi, gypsies, this is Joy. You are group three, you chose the Narcissus Fairy. Isn't she adorable? And, um, this is the pick a card reading what needs your attention right now, okay? So let's first see what we've got in our pouch here. Okay. Okay, first of all, we've got the patchouli scent. And uh, this is good for grounding, balancing. It's a calming scent, provides numerous health benefits uh, used in therapeutic cosmetics aromatherapy and cleaning products. <laughs> I just love that. Okay, so the stone that was in the pouch is this beautiful pink translucent stone. This is B6. I think that might be that mothering stone. Let's see. That is rose quartz. That's what I thought. It's a stone of universal love. It restores trust and harmony and relationships, encouraging unconditional love. So that is a beautiful stone. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do a channel part of this reading, and I'll see if I can look at something in my third eye, smell something, um, hear something. We'll see what happens, okay? Wow, okay, so uh, what I kept hearing was the hissing sound of a, um, of a, what do you, how do you say that, scythe? It's that um, big uh, sword looking thing and you hold it like this and you go Shh, Shh, and you, you cut crops or something with it. I don't know, I've seen that on TV, <laughs> I don't really know, but um, it felt, it felt like it, uh, what we're talking about is words. Um, cutting words, uh, cutting somebody down with words, okay, that, that's what it felt like, just cutting somebody, um, both mentally and figuratively, that's what I'm hearing, I, I'm seeing a sliced, um, skin, see, I, I'm seeing that in my third eye, sliced skin, oh, wow, ooh. Um, I'm seeing bleeding and, and pain and suffering from words. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to look at right now how you're feeling, okay? Your cir circumstances right now. Disruption. You know, this is really interesting because you see how uh, he's sort of coming apart and it, it feels like the side cutting him, cutting his head, cutting his shoulders and arms cutting his um, stomach area, you know? Words. Okay. Yeah, um, it, it feels like you're in a lot of pain right now. Yeah, this, your, your life is disrupted. You're, um, 
you don't feel calm and at peace and it's very different from this uh, this stone this love stone mm. Wow okay we're gonna look at what needs your attention King of Pentacles and this is upside down you know this King of Pentacles it's it's about I mean one of the meanings it's it's about um, knowing how to achieve um, earthly possessions okay uh, knowing how to do that but see this is upside down so it feels like you've done that you know, I, I'm, I'm hearing at what cost that's what I'm hearing at what cost and so I feel like greed is involved here and I feel like anger and um, I feel like you know trying to grab oh look at this in, grab treasures but you know what if you look at this it's shiny but look at the back it's like cheap so I, I I feel like you're you're going after all these earthly riches and all that and you're really good at it but is it making you happy and and I and I'm feeling like your your whole life is just tearing apart you're you're not you're not feeling this love um do you have like a, a business partner or something uh that you're just tearing each other apart that's what it feels like um it, it feels like what used to make you happy with the the money and the possessions is just not not doing it for you anymore mm. all right okay so let's look at what's hidden the Emperor okay so so this is what I'm getting with the the Emperor and it's so it's really close to this King of Pentacles look how they're both sitting um, I, I feel like like I say I, I feel like this this money thing and, and getting money and all that is just fine and you were doing very well doing that but I'm feeling like your whole life is just coming apart and this hidden thing is it feels like temper um, and, and it feels like um, being angry with the world not really understanding why and this sort of feels like it might be something with with you that you're you're feeling uh, and, and I'm seeing it in the hidden category because maybe you don't even realize it maybe you you think that other people are at fault nobody can do anything right but this is this is something you might want to look at okay now your resources look at this hangman this is a major card and this is talking about changing your perspective and I invite you to think about the fact that what was making you happy at one time and maybe the achieving of, of wealth look at this the screen <laughs> money <laughs> the achieving of wealth might not be something that's um, floating your boat anymore and so the longer you let this go on and not examine yourself I feel like the un the more unhappy that you're going to be and it could be that this this money thing that you think is so great could also go away because you're just not happy and you're not thinking clearly like the Emperor would thinking clearly and making decisions just because you're so angry and not sure why and so uh, I, I feel like you're you're needing more of this more of the love kind of thing and you and you're not you're not having that in your life right now so I don't know if uh, is it possible that a love relationship went away is that is that what's happened and that's why you're so angry so I, I see this with the fairy cards this this fast activity kind of thing so it feels like your life is coming apart like fast so you do need to handle this 
and um, and you might look at the fact that what made you happy is is not anymore and you're walking away or maybe that's something you need to think about and I'm not saying you know give up away all your money I'm not saying that I'm just saying that examine yourself okay examine yourself and how you're you're feeling how you're thinking your actions do you see this page looking at the the wand it feels like that's what the little fairies are trying to say examine think about yourself and so it, it might be that you might want to just get into a quiet room and just meditate and really really be honest with yourself okay um, because you are a good person you are a good person and you just might need a little bit of a wake-up call okay so let's go ahead and sit back in your chair and just feel like you're being rocked back and forth and think about that mothering stone the pink mothering stone and that beautiful pink color of love and feel that pink light all around you loving you and whoever is that you loved and is no longer here just feel them with you giving you a hug as well they're always gonna love you no matter what okay all right thank you gypsies if you like this reading please give me a thumbs up I appreciate it and I'll see you for the next reading bye